Hey there, it's Rob Hatch, and this is Simple Decisions. Making emotional decisions is something that's often discouraged. We think that if we make a decision based on our emotion, we're going to choose wrong, we're going to want to fulfill some sort of need, uh, immediate need, and we're, we're not going to be thinking ahead. But author and researcher David DeSteno, who is the author of Emotional Success, talks about how emotions can actually support us in making better decisions. There are two emotions in particular that he focuses on, well, focuses on more, but two we're going to talk about today. One is compassion, and the other is gratitude. Let's talk first about compassion. So a while back, um, in one of the earliest episodes, I talked about Tomorrow Guy. Tomorrow Guy is uh, someone that I, I do work for, right? I want to think about what tomorrow guy needs. So for example, if I knew that my wife was going to have a very busy day the next day, I care about her. I, I, I have compassion for her situation and I want her to, to have a good day even though it's busy. So I might spend a little extra time setting things up for her. I might make sure the coffee's ready. I might make sure that her, you know, the uh, everything she need, it needs is laid out, her batteries are charged for her cameras, whatever she needs, because I have compassion and love for her, I might want to take, uh, I'll, I'll use that to take care of her uh, and set things up. She in turn, when she wakes up in the morning and sees that everything is there and done, feels grateful, right? She feels incredibly grateful because now she doesn't have to worry about those things. So that's those two emotions played out for someone else. But we can do the same thing for ourselves. Destendo did some research where he showed that if we can somehow envision our future selves the same way that we envision someone we care about and, and think about the situation that we're going to leave them in and have compassion for what they need, then we can make better decisions. How will this make future me feel, basically? So whether that's tomorrow guy, or next week guy, or next month guy, or retirement guy. If you think ahead, do I really want to leave retirement guy stranded and without uh, uh, the proper savings to be able to make better decisions and have the life that he wants? How do I want, so you, you have that compassion, and if you can envision that and have compassion for that, it actually can help you make better decisions now. It can actually improve your willpower to not be impulsive because you're having and thinking about future you. So that's an emotional attachment to future you, not just a sort of logical, well, this is or isn't the right thing. This is, this is about the emotion of, of tapping into how I will feel, how future me will feel if I make a bad choice here. The other is gratitude. So gratitude... I can, only, I can also now imagine how future me will feel when he has all of those resources, when everything is laid out for the next day, when everything is, is, um, is uh, set aside in, in the savings account, the retirement account, whatever it is. I can imagine also the gratitude. I know how I will feel and, and it, it encourages me to want to do it again. So in the, in the situation where I do it every night, I set aside some time to prepare what I will need the next day, whether that's having everything decided about what I'm going to work on, having all the materials available to me, putting success in my way. I do that with compassion. And then when I wake up and I experience it, I have gratitude for myself, last night guy. And it becomes this sort of perpetual motion machine. It drives this energy to want to continue to replicate it. It actually fuels the willpower we need to do it. And then allows me to not have to spend any willpower trying to gather everything in the morning. It's all just there and done for me. So it becomes this sort of cycle of willpower energy and I have things and I'm making better decisions. Use your emotions to make better decisions. I'm Rob Hatch and this is Simple Decisions.